Now, Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. All right, looks like a mostly cloudy night on the way. Speaking of coats for kids, it's that time of year. You'll need one of those, ja those jackets tonight. You certainly needed them this morning with temperatures in the upper 30s and low 40s. Won't be quite as cool tonight. Maybe a late night, early morning light shower sprinkle moving through the area and also possibly around midday. A uh, sprinkle around lunchtime too, but then we get back to more sunshine Saturday afternoon later in the day. Uh, more clouds come back in on Sunday. Now there's a chance of a shower as we go through uh, later uh, Saturday night into Sunday morning, but a better chance of showers during the day and even a chance of a thunderstorm. And then we're back to more cool weather, below normal temperatures again next week. 7 o'clock this evening, 62 mostly cloudy with 59 at 9 p.m. down to 57 at 11 with those mostly cloudy conditions. 8 o'clock in the morning, cloudy skies, 54, 62 at noon, and should be around 70 degrees at 5 p.m. The Dayton Art Institute Oktoberfest this weekend. Looks good this evening. Light winds, about 60. Make sure you have that sweatshirt handy, and uh, or just wear your lederhosen, I guess. And 73 degrees on Saturday with partly cloudy skies in the afternoon. A mix of clouds and sunshine. That'll be after mostly cloudy start with a chance of a couple of sprinkles, but the better chance of scattering showers coming our way on Sunday. Temperatures over the next 12 hours dropping down through the 50s, down to 53 by 6 o'clock in the morning. And then high temperatures tomorrow should make it into the upper 60s to low 70s in the northern part of the Miami Valley. We'll be up to about 73 here in Dayton, 72 Springboro, and a little bit warmer Sunday, maybe up to 74 degrees as we get to the afternoon. Here's the Bryant heating and cooling systems camera a few hours ago, partly cloudy skies, those clouds advancing in from the west, and then you can see them thickening up this afternoon, late afternoon, and into this evening. So we're back to mostly cloudy skies. Dry weather on live down. 2 HD, and even though we're tracking rain west of us, this area will tend to weaken as it heads eastward because it's moving into some drier air. But nonetheless, a few raindrops could make it to the ground here later tonight and tomorrow as uh, the initial rain starts to uh, humidify the air and increase the chances of those raindrops making it to the ground. High pressure right now keeping us dry. That'll slide eastward. And taking a look at our current weather, 65 degrees. We have a calm wind, 32% the relative humidity. There's your dry air with dew points. It's only running in the mid-30s. Uh, Jeff Cador and Bell Center tonight at 63. The Low Stetters in Jamestown, 65. Jim Robbins in Beaver Creek at 62. And uh, Barbara Richards in Kettering, uh, 67. David Wessler, New Paris at 63. Jason Thompson, Brookville at 64. A lot of low to mid-60s out there. There's that chance some of those late-night sprinkles or light rain showers quickly drifting through. And a slight chance of some of those sprinkles or showers again around lunchtime. Our forecast tonight, mostly cloudy, maybe a late night sprinkle overnight low 53, light southeast wind, early day sprinkle tomorrow, then mixed clouds and sunshine, a little bit milder. We'll get up to 73 in the afternoon and Sunday's high temperature 74, scattered showers, chance of a thunderstorm, uh, dry weather Monday 68, partly cloudy, but a chance of showers coming back later Tuesday, only around 60 for the high, 60 on Wednesday, mostly cloudy, slight chance of a shower, but warming up toward the end of the week.